Hey guys, Teacher Lauren here. I've been seeing some posts lately about uh, how do you handle back-to-back -back classes or how do you guys stay so organized and not have a mess on your desk after back-to-back -back classes? Or how is it that you're pos it's possible to do more than six back-to-back? -back? And being somebody that has been freaked out about doing that, I can tell you I have tried everything under the sun <laughs> and the system that works for me may not work for everybody but I'm going to share the system and I have somewhat simplified my system so I'm hoping this is helpful for somebody uh, if not I just appreciate you listening to me babble since I'm home all day with a 17 month old <laughs> and I get to listen to her babble usually <laughs> All that to say, here's what I do. So as you can see in my crazy classroom setup, it doesn't feel crazy to me because I know exactly what is where, but these are all pink because this is level two. So every single lesson I've taught for level two and inside each lesson is a set of 2D props from Kinnison and Creation. Shout out to Kinnison and Creations. Really, really awesome set that I bought the whole pack from her so I get the updates. Has every level just about in it and it has little labels at the bottom that shows you level two unit five, or no, level one unit five, but I stole it for level two. <laughs> and then also I put a reward. This is a how to draw reward because I cannot draw. But this just shows you step by step what to do and there's five steps for five stars. So I draw and hope that they can guess it. And if not, we get a good laugh. And then you can kind of see behind here my notes where I've highlighted in pinkish, purplish color my vocabulary words or my high, high frequency words, if I could talk. And things that I think I might need a prop for to reinforce or to assist the student to learn. And then the yellow on the other side... <laughs> is where I've marked to remind myself to give rewards and stars. I usually get that down now. I'm pretty good about that, but there are times I forget. And then on the other side is another lesson, so I've put them back to back. <laughs> so this is three, and I believe this will be four on this side for level two, unit eight, lesson three. Now this looks intense, but this is how my brain works. So again, you don't have to type lesson notes. Don't freak out and be like, oh my gosh, so much work. Um, but I just do that and I keep it in my Google Drive too. So if I ever need to reprint or I lose them or I'm traveling, I have them. I have access on my phone to them even. And then in each pocket has the rewards, has 2D props. And if I need to grab a 3D prop, which now I'm down to just these two tubs of, this is all my animals and farm and egg. And, and then also I put my emotional balls like the happy, sad, angry, inside there and then the bottom one hopefully I'm not making you too seasick <laughs> this bottom one stays on my desk both of them stay here and it has all my food props and drinks and things of that nature because that comes up often between all the levels so I keep those handy I keep them right there I have another tub that has magnetic letters and numbers and it has word form of numbers for the early level twos but I don't seem to teach that very often so it's and the tub above, that's my makeup, my cords to charge my phone, and ibuprofen for when I get a headache, lotion. <laughs> I have a big bottle on my desk, too. And then, as you can see, I have yellow. Well, that is level three, and I'm currently working on making sure every pocket has a prop, because there for a while I thought, I don't need a prop for every lesson. But I have met students that are in level three that need props. So I'm going through making sure I'm prepared for any type of student at any type of stage of life and learning. <laughs> and I'm putting a reward in every pocket. Some people say, oh, you don't need a reward for level three. You don't need a reward for level four and five. I've heard that in the workshops too. However, I've even asked a 14 year old that I taught test taking skills to the other day, <laughs> the TOEFL classes to, that when I asked her, Do you, would you like a reward today? It's find a star or I have emoji. I asked her, I said, would you, I mean, even want a reward or do you want me to just give you the stars? Because I had never taught anybody above 12 years old at that point. And because she seemed like she was doing homework between slides. So I thought, okay, we can make this fast and dirty. That's fine. Instead, she wanted the reward. She wanted to do, I think it was find a star. <laughs> 
and she loved when I got goofy with it. And so even the big kids want rewards, you guys. And it broke up the lesson for both of us. You know, you get kind of tired of being like, okay, please read. Find the keywords. Let's talk about keywords. Keywords, 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 keywords. It breaks it up with, oh, look, fine, as you found the star, woo! The unicorn one, I'm like, oh, look, it's a unicorn. Even with the boys, and they think it's hilarious. I'm not really sure why. But anyway, <laughs> have a reward for your kids, and if not for your kids, for your sanity. Break up the lessons that way. I'm even gonna put it in my level four, and then if I see they're just like, mm, whatever, we'll talk. I can get to know them more through the rewards, whereas my level twos, I can ask 100,000 questions and they're like, yes. <laughs> That's all I get. So all the times I'll do music, find a star, and that sort of thing with them. And some of the level threes will be that way because they're nervous and they're afraid to say the wrong thing or they're not sure what I'm saying. <laughs> Nobody knows what I'm saying, right? So I have level four, just to show you, in blue. And these pockets are on Amazon. I'll link them below. And then, <laughs> my trash. And then you can see I have, whew, excuse the sniffles. I have some grammar lessons I've taught. I have some, I just added that this summer, phonics and tiki. And back here is the proper pronunciations. And of course, you gotta keep the witch's hat handy. <laughs> And then I keep stuffed animals and my doll for toy lessons. And I've got <laughs> Angry Bird for angry, for emotions. Happy birthday, balloon. And then this is my set of um, fun glasses that I put on sometimes to get goofy with kids. Especially the boys. And then my fun little headbands that I put on for the girls. And then inside that cra craziness, I've got it organized, but it has my rewards that I can grab if the reward I'm using is just not working. It's not exciting to them. There's some different things I've stuffed back there. Or if they have a particular interest like Mickey or Minnie Mouse or Peppa Pig. We all know Peppa Pig is loved by the world. And I have some clappers back there. And then up top, you can see I have my queen hat because naturally I'm a queen. But I teach queen, the word queen, the sound um, about Great Britain. I'm constantly using that that crown, and I think I got it from Amazon. I'll link it below if I can find it. And of course, that hat's to talk about things we wear and what season. And I keep Ziploc bags handy because, as you can see, I have some on my desk. As I'm working or in between classes, I will start creating rewards and cutting them out as I print them, or I will leave them right here underneath my little computer desk. And if a student is, say, 10, 15 minutes late to class, because that never happens, or, and I can't judge, I've been late. Um, or let's say it's a student no-show, or I have short notice open and nobody books the short notice class. I have something to work on while I'm sitting here. And I have some students that are really slow readers that I might sort my rewards under the camera while they're talking, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm doing this with my hands, but looking right at the camera just to get it done because I never seem to have time to get anything done. <laughs> I will clean off my desk, which most of the time I try to keep it clear. As you can see, it's not totally clear today. But this right here is the lesson I'm getting ready to teach. These are some notebooks that I've got different ideas for different things in. My Kleenex slash clean off my board. <laughs> Double way of use. A reward. Some rewards to work on. Um, I always keep my dice right next to my desk to play a game or to teach more than, less than, fewer, all that good stuff. Microphone for singing the songs at the beginning and the end. This is another reward for Halloween. The little door is open. <laughs> oh, look, you get Frankenstein. And then my little snowman works for the weather lessons. She works for white, pink. She's great for, um, did you play in the snow today? There's a lot of different things that comes up with, and it reminds me who I'm doing all this for, my little Emma. And then I have my flags for America and China. And then over here I keep flowers and lotion and a candle just to make me happy, and sometimes it works for the color lessons. And sometimes it also works for if they don't know the word flower. 
in level two. And then these are rewards I had for Halloween that just don't seem very popular. <laughs> so they're just sitting there right now. I keep a sticky note handy to write down notes about students. And I've got a little notebook for them. And this is another project, some labels I've got to fill out for some crates I have for my daughter. And then this is my computer desk. I keep my hand bag right here. And then inside there's different people, monsters, emotions, numbers, um, lots of people. Scooter, and a couple of lipsticks just to grab really fast. My mouse, because that's for the technology lessons in level two and four. And then some office supplies and pictures. Drums, because I talk about music a lot with kids, and my husband is a drummer, so we talk about his drum set. And if they're really into drums and playing drums, I'll take them down to the basement and show them his drum set. And these are for the birthday lessons, or just to talk about their birthday. Random fun toy to play with. And then over here, I'll keep my lipstick I'm wearing now. Scissors, would you rather cards, um, conversations, Dino. Um, this is a cool little book I got on Amazon. Ah, I'm dropping things. An apple attached. <laughs> and it has words in Mandarin and English inside, if I can hold it up. So this side's English. And then if you flip it over, it has the Mandarin, which the kids love when I try, and then they love to teach how to say it correctly. So that is my setup with also my megaphone and my ring light and my lighting. I love these things. So those were like 50 bucks when I got them. They're cheaper now. But I got them on Amazon because you can travel with them. They fold down and you can put them in a little bag. It came with the light bulb, the umbrellas, the whole shebang. And it was really easy to set up. And my husband hooked it up to a remote control. So I literally come in in the morning and I just push my on button. Little remote control sits right here. With my dry erase marker. And I just... Push on, off, on, off with it right here. And all this is is just one of those little Christmas light remote controls you can get at like Walmart or Lowe's. And he just plugged it into a power strip um, that plugs into the remote control controller. <laughs> and that goes into the wall so that I could do that. The only thing is when power goes out, if it comes back on, all of this is back on. <laughs> so I have to remember to come here and shut it off. Um, but that doesn't happen very often because we're right next to a transfer station. So it doesn't really seem to be in. Oh my goodness, my hair. Wow. Good thing there's filters on VIP Kid now. <laughs> to hide all that jazz. So that said, this is how I operate. You do not have to operate this way. Um, I will try my best to link everything I can think of below. Oh, I didn't show you. So this is where I put my pockets that I'm teaching for the next day or week or however I want to set it up right here right there and then I just go boop hello Nina <laughs> hello whoever I'm teaching Amy Hardy and then I when I'm done I turn them down or I just stick them up up on top like that <laughs> my messy way of doing it I stick them up on top to be filed away. And then these are empty pockets that if I'm sitting here typing notes while I'm waiting on a student to show up and I print it, I can grab it because my printer's over there, stick it in the pocket and go. But beyond that, that is my setup. And it works pretty good. I can set up, I've timed myself before, 49 seconds to set up for one class. Not including the typing and all that because that's a one and done deal. And then after that, you just set up. So... 49 seconds to pull a pocket, put a kid's name, the date, the time I teach them, and stick them in my little sorter over here. You may judge this all you want, but it works for me. <laughs> and maybe it'll give you an idea of how to make it work. <laughs> Hope that helped you guys out. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Comment below, or you can email me at VIPKidTeacherLaurenCannon at gmail.com. C-A-N-N-O-N. -N. And I hope you have 